All right, now that we have our utility methods complete, we can start coding the form now. So if you right click on the main form and view code or press F7, you can see that this is the only existing code provided by the boilerplate. So if we go back to the designer, now we need to click on this button here so we can handle the click event. So you might notice that the programming in Windows form is based on the events of the, the forms that's happening on the form. Okay, so one of the event that you can handle is when the form loads then do something. But in our case there is no action to be done when the form loads. So all we have to do now is create the method for the button click of this uh, BTN display button control here. So double click on this and we will have this BTN display click event. Okay. All right. So when this button is clicked, the objective is to select whatever the user selected from this drop-down list it's either layer, line type, or text style, and all and then based on that selection we are going to display uh, into the respective list box if the user selected layer then we will just display the layer if the user selected the line type we will dis display the line type and we will hide the layer. If the user selected the text style, so this will only be the one that is active and is showing information. So, which means that this other two will be empty. So that is our uh, logic or our project requirement. Okay, so now that we have the display click event, let us create a variable and call that as choice equals empty string for now. This will be the variable to handle the selected value from the combo drop box. So let's just put here using combo box. So the choice now would be equal to CBO options that selected item that to string. And now, before we can call the methods from here, from this class, we need to instantiate this uh, class. So to do that, controls demo util, and let's just call that a C util equals new controls demo util. Now we should be able to access those uh, three methods, like get layers, get line types, and get textiles. All right. So now that we have the choice value from the drop down uh, from the combo box, let's do a validation. We can use either switch or it statement, but in, in this uh, example, we are going to use the, the if condition. So if choice equals double equal layer. Then we'll this, uh, declare an array list. Oh, array list is also not included here. So using system that collections. So array list. Let's call that as layers equals c util dot get layers. Remember, this get layers is returning an array list. That's why we need to have an array list data type also when we retrieve those layers. Okay. So now that we have the layers, all we have to do is bind this into the list box. So LST layers layer dot data source equals layers, and that's it. However, as per the requirement, only the layer should have a value. 
I mean only the layers list box has a value so if that's the case we have to make sure that the line type that data source equals nothing or null so that they, they don't show anything also the LST text style that data source equals null as well this uh, logic only works if let's say I mean only yeah only works when the user selected from the drop down like line type or text style and then suddenly he decided to select the layers so at least we will just clear whatever is in the list box and then of course we'll just show the user how many uh, layers are there in the drawing text equals uh, layers count let's put that as equals plus layers that count oops and that's it for the layers next if the user selected the line type so else if choice equals line type we will uh, basically do the same thing except that we'll just change the variable names and some of the the values here so this will be line types and cutil that get line types and now the this line type will have the value instead of null that should be the line types that is bind into the data source and the layers now become null and next lbl line type count and line types count equals the line types count okay and that's it for our line type next let's copy this for the text style so if the choice is text style now let's just change this variable to text style styles and we can call the method get text styles all right next the text style now will be the one with the data source so this will be text styles <clears throat> okay and the line type now in layer becomes null all right and here the the count will be text style count and text styles text styles alright so one more thing if the user selected all so let's just copy this over and if the user selected all then all of these three we have to call which means that we need these we need the line types oops forget the layers here and we need the text styles so we have here the line types 
oops and we need a text style here okay and now all of these uh, messages should be available should be called as well and the layers okay we got a duplicate here so that's it so if the user selected all we will be calling all of these uh, three methods and bind bind them together and then display all the informations in their corresponding uh, label control okay so let us save our project and let's give this a try all right let's open this drawing okay let's do a net load click on always load and now we have the demo command there you go all right so let's try the layer and select on show items nice we have the layer let's uh, we have 16 layers next let's try the line type so we should be expecting to be displayed here and then this this layer list box will be cleared there you go but we forgot to do this one but I leave it to you to clear it out but now if we select on the text style this uh, should be clear out too and we only have this text style displayed now if we select on line type and show items the text style is cleared okay finally if we select all all of these three should be populated very nice so that's it when using the combo uh, combo box control you can only select one item at a time all right in the next video we will add another uh, option another option here to just use a text box by simply accepting whatever the user types or enters into the text box and we will use that in uh, controlling the display in this list box here okay i'll see you there